So as promised, we are going to go over every single map on vertical play with Buck and Sledge, since everyone liked to see what I did with Clubhouse there with Buck on my uh, Buck video. So we're going to do that same style for every single map. Obviously, some will be longer, some will be shorter. Maps with more vertical play like Clubhouse are, of course, longer than a map with very limited vertical play. Maybe like, uh, I guess, Canal probably is a good example of that. So some are going to be shorter, some are going to be longer. I'm going to split it into two parts here. I'm going to do six and then six next week. So we're going to have, this is going to be two parts because if I did all 12, all 12 of the ranked maps, which is all we're going to do, that would take absolutely forever and it would be a super long video and you would forget everything that was said in it. So I, I decided that I'm going to split it up and hopefully that helps, you know, make it easier to actually remember what we're doing. So I'm going to do the first six just in order, Oregon Club house consulate bank canal chalet and then next time we're gonna do cafe border coastline theme park villa and outback so let's hop into oregon here so the first thing with anything when you're looking to play vertically is what how many sites are actually able to be vertically played right so this map the two play the two maps that are played the most are here in the basement in uh laundry and this site and if you look above there's nothing there's no vertical play at all here none at all so as you can see the only vertical play you can get is hatches and that's not really vertical play so you just x this part out and then you move on so now we're going to go upstairs and see if there's vertical play here because obviously um vertical play is only uh, on some sites some sites are indestructible like this is concrete you can't destruct that but overall this is the only site that really can be played uh, vertically on this entire map uh, there's kitchen as well but uh, that site doesn't get played nearly as much as these two and I'm thinking solely on ranked here and this site and basement is the t are the top two played sites so um, I'm gonna base it off of that so there's a few things you need to look at here and there's a few places to look at whenever you are either defending or attacking and trying to play vertically on Oregon and that this right here is classroom or right here rather is classroom so um, there's a lot of things you can do with this especially as a defender when they're trying to thermite here uh, there's obviously ways you can impact the floor and kill them while they're thermite charging and such from classroom so that's more of a defender or yeah more of a defender sided thing but from an attacker standpoint here are the main points you need to look for a lot of people like to sit in classroom or kids room kids dorms and right under this is kitchen as you can see so this goes both ways really whenever the site's in kitchen and when it's upstairs it can either be played from below or above you know it goes both ways on organ so uh, the few things you need to look at whenever you're attacking on this site whenever it's upstairs is there's usually gonna be a rotation hole here especially at higher ranks people know that there needs to be a rotation hole here or here so underneath is where you need to play if you want to be able to watch a rotation hole another only there's only two ways to get an attic right it's this and this and both can be watched from underneath and the nice thing about this is these these beams run vertically so you can get a nice angle straight into attic from down below into kitchen so that's always nice um, obviously it's easy to see you as well but it still should catch them off guard if you just do a little line there and then of course the bandits on this wall which can be shot from kitchen if you go underneath or cades or whatever a mute jammer whatever is up here blocking your thermite from getting this wall you can easily fix that by coming down under here and getting the bandit charges so this map is so simple when it comes to vertical play there's only a very limited vertical play you can do as a defender though sit below this window because some people for some reason like to attack a singular window but boom you're dead and that's just in this little cctv room so easy kills there and then people like to sit behind these bunk beds so always a good thing to do on any map you want to learn vertically is go pick buck pick sledge whatever one uh, suits the site that you're looking at obviously we're going down this time so sledge would work just fine but buck i like to do on these because i'm either going up or down so that's important and uh, just break open the wall and see where it leads up downstairs so this is like the white hall over here so um this obviously is right by this bunk bed so if you ever wanted to it's just a little risky because you have white stairs right there the only way to do this is going sitting in the middle of 
four shooting points, right? So this is not the best vertical play. The only way I would play vertically even on this map would be here under classroom, right? Because you could have a drone up here and you could easily see where they are playing, right? If they're in this corner, you know that they're in this corner. So you just, you come over here and you shoot and then boom, you got their feet and you can shoot them out. It's always good to just make a bunch of holes before you peek your holes, of course, and that's gonna go for every single one that we go over in this one. But uh, just in general, here are the two spots that you could be using right now. This is the rotation hole and this right here is attic. So that's the only way you can play vertically on this map. If forever, some reason you end up in kitchen and dining, this right here is destructible in small tower and uh, this will get all the bandit charges if you ever are in this situation, but you should never be in this situation, Oregon. Uh, most of the time you should be going upstairs, downstairs, but if you 2-0, you will probably will end up in dining and kitchen for the most part. One more thing though on this map, this is the last thing I could even give you because this map is just so not good for vertical play is right here in attic. They made this destructible so you can get any bandit charge either this way or this way. So a lot of people like to bandit this off or mute this because this is a good place to push uh, top top floor. So you can, you can get this so your thermite can get in and you can get over there if your thermite is going that way. So that's how you play vertically on Oregon. There's only one site that you can even play vertically on and it's this site. And I almost forgot to mention, this is one of the most day one things, but uh, if you break above this, you can see the staircase going downstairs and that's always good to know. So for people that don't know that, uh, well now you do. So just remember creativity, right? They made this all uh, soft now. So if people are trying to enter through the garage you can easily shoot it from here. This is good to watch the doorway, uh, but uh, there's not much to it, right? You can you can just break holes above windows and play them, but uh, there's not much to it. You could do it the same way from underneath, though, if you are attacking, and if someone's playing armor, you could break, you could buck the whole floor and push them out, and then your team can push into here. So. Well, that's Oregon. I want to go into a more fun map now for vertical play. This map's so simple on vertical play, so let's hop into the next one. We're back on Clubhouse, and this is just the second map. I know we did 14 minutes on the buck video, so if you actually want to see all Clubhouse, then just do that. I'm just going to show the basics because I don't want to just repeat what I'm doing here because I already did this on the buck video for f literally 14 minutes talking about this one map. So uh, basically, I'm just going to show you the main points here that we went over that. And this is one of the sites underneath this. And you can also both of the this is why this map is so good for vertical play, because both the sites, the main two sites have vertical play on it. Cash room has vertical and downstairs has vertical. So the main two things here is uh, right under here this is the site the bomb is usually somewhere over there and uh there's a few little lines of sight that i want to show you this is the main hallway going down right so this would be church right under there so uh the main thing i wanted to show is just this spot here where you can watch the church door from basically however deep you want to you can watch it from here and throw nades in there etc into church and that would be church right there and uh, the same thing goes for right here and a lot of people like to sit here and impact trick and I know we went over this so if you did watch this go ahead and skip past this but a lot of people like the impact trick over here so you can easily break open the floor and counter that while your team gets at the hatch with a Habana or a thermite so that's the main points there for downstairs same thing goes for over here though this is the little hallway by the by the downstairs and um, we can get some nice angles into into moto here so this is moto if you look deep into there that is moto right there and uh, you could also stop people from sitting in this little corner here as well but it cuts off the entire rotation if you have one right there and another person watching right here into church so that's one way to play that and that's a really simple way to play it and it's also easy to play people that are on here. You can you can force them over there by coming down here and just spraying, and then they'll keep peeking that, and then you re-peek them from this angle right here, right? So I want to go into cash now because this that is a, a more difficult difficult thing to get the hang of. So this is all destructible, all destructible, and the main thing you got to look at is right here with this wall. 
this is going to be the main wall where the bandit charges will be. Um, always, really, if you are attacking here, there's going to be a person either bandit tricking or just bandit sitting here or a cade up there. So you got to keep that in mind and uh, break this every single time. Whether you're Ash, Sophia, IQ, whatever you're doing, you got to shoot up and get these bandit charges. A few more spots to know. I mean, there's common plant spots over here, right around here. A lot of people like to plant back here. So as a defender, you can obviously win like that. And um, back here, people like to play behind this, head glitching this. So breaking open this and then going downstairs into stock, you can see where this is broken. And as well, I like to create holes right here. The only problem with this is they are horizontal, not vertical. If they're vertical, you can sit down uh, down below and watch the rotation into construction. So that's always a good thing to do. But for the most part, you can't really do it too much on this map. You can, however, do it on this bandit trick wall since it is vertical this way. So the main thing with cash, if you are playing buck, you got to do this. This is your role is to get the bandits off. This is also nice to know where the common plant spots are. If your teammates do somehow get the plant off without you up there, you could easily buck under it and just watch it from below as well as knowing that this right here is behind the bomb. So this map's pretty simple. If you want a full 14 minutes, go ahead and watch the buck video, but that's all we got on the clubhouse for this one. Moving on to Consulate, one of my also favorite maps to do vertical play. I just like doing vertical play in general, so I'm going to say that for every single map, but this one in specific is the easiest to get the hang of because it's mainly one room for both sites, and that is piano room or press room, I guess you can say. So whenever you're defending or attacking downstairs, this is the room that you need control of if you even want a chance at getting the main wall, which is right under this. So whenever you're looking at this, you got to see that this wall is so important. So if your thermite gets this open, you should be able to win the round as long as you have a number still and you haven't, it's not like a 2v5 or something, right? So you should be able to win this round if you can get this wall open. So if you go above here, you'll see in a second whenever I go upstairs, this is this wall. So you can kill anyone trying to ban a trick. And then once it is planted, once again, this is white van. So this you could watch the whole cross this is just such a powerful map to do vertical play on this right here is the rotation hole right there's always a rotation hole right here and you can watch it from either way literally this whole site is destructible so you can absolutely obliterate anyone now outside of the site this is concrete so you can't get anyone sitting on pipes so this is always a good anchor point from a, a, t a defender's perspective, but everything from this hatch over is destructible. This whole room is destructible. And so I wanna show you it from upstairs and piano. So right here is the white van. A lot of people like to camp behind the white van. A lot of maestro cams go up here so you can destroy them with uh, grenades or something. Obviously Buck doesn't have nades anymore, but if you are a sledge, you can do that with your nades or just bring your ash up here with you. You're gonna need some help up here to clear clear here and just watch your flanks because a lot of people can easily flank you from the circle desk and spiral stairs and all these different angles. So you gotta be wary. You can't just you can't just shove your head in one of these holes and hold it for the whole round. You gotta be you gotta be moving, right? The nice thing about this spot here is that it's protected by this piano and someone can't peek you from yellow stairs. And if your whole team isn't helping you at all, then you could still manage to do this. The main thing though is vertical play is you shoot and then you then you look around and make some other holes so they don't just expect you to be sitting right here. So here is the main wall. This is how you can get the bandit charts the easiest, but you can also get it from this white van spot as well. But basically destroying this whole area it's probably in your best interest here and just holding it because this will allow you to get the wall, allow you to protect the planter who should plant around there and um, kill anyone off the white van. So this is basement and this room is just as powerful when you're attacking the upstairs area as well. When you think upstairs, you think of two places that people really anchor at. They, people like to anchor around here if they want to they be protected from the window and not be on the hatch but a lot of people like to sit in this deep cubby here and try to get an angle on the window if they were to shoot through that right so that is the window right there and you can get an angle onto the balcony from here so this is piano room right this is the hatch in piano room and you can make them fall through and get an easy kill 
also as well. So this is a good good area in piano to kill anyone that's in this little rat cubby. All right. I'll go downstairs and show you, of course, where we are looking at. But another little area that people like to sit at is behind this desk right here, which is right above circle desk. So this is the circle desk right underneath us, and you can kill anyone off of this spot. The way I like to use this is with a nade. If you're able to cook the nades, this is what I liked when Book had nades. You could cook it, time it perfectly, and kill someone instantly if they were sitting behind this desk. Since I know, even personally, I like to put one of my shields up here and then put a bunch of one my's all around here and hold this from right here. And someone could easily kill me with vertical play, but unfortunately, no one knows vertical play. So here is a good tip for vertical play and um, just playing under circle desk and piano room literally downstairs or upstairs will get you the round win if you can do it right. There's one more push point though that people like to use. I like to use this when I'm um, defending even. This right here is the door that people like to push and um, it's easy to get kills right here if you just stand above it. Of course you can see the debris though so people, some smart people will look up but for the most part easy pickings down below as well as you can come down below if everyone is holding admins really hard and you can easily um, kill them from underneath. So basically this is what it looks like for the attacker's perspective um, for what I'm talking about. You could have, usually people run through, but some people stop drone in here and mostly not look up. So just running through, you might not kill them, but you know that they're coming, make easy call outs to your team. And that's obviously just as important as anything else. From the circle desk perspective, right here, looking into sight, this, this right here, right, just get a good I feel for it. It's literally right above the circle desk. This is that stupid table that everyone likes to, to like head glitch to watch out the windows, right? Double windows. So all of this can be destroyed. And it goes the same way whenever it's this site. So everything is always this wall and this wall and this and this. So on every single site. This is the third site people pick if they do somehow 2 0 basement and top floor. And, um, then you could play from above as well, but most of the time the defenders will open this hatch and play above hardcore. So now going into piano, the spots that we looked at, this is the cubby all up in here by the hatch. This is a good way to know where it is. Just look for the hatch and then shoot around the cubby. That's all I have for consulate. I know these are short. I got to go quick, kind of quick, but literally I could do 15 minutes per map and I don't want to do that. So let's hop into the next one moving on over to bank I mean this map is not very good for vertical play because mainly the number one site is basement and there is absolutely no vertical play that can be done in any of this basement besides the hatches of course so none of this can be vertically played nothing in the basement at all not even right here where it looks like it might be able to but it cannot that's kind of unfortunate but you do have a lot of opportunities upstairs whenever you are attacking up here i like to only show the two best spots on this because um most of the time you're going to be attacking and defending these two sites and it's most useful when you actually uh can remember these so this is a good site to play vertically on for stock and here so the main thing here is there are going to be bandits here and here so knowing where those are is obviously good so let's break let's go ahead and break this we're going to head up, down into archives for most of this so this is archives and this is the bandit charges here right here is going to be the rotation hole problem with this is they are horizontal not vertical so you don't get a good line of sight into the rotation hole Stock is a very common place to camp right here, right behind this little area. So breaking open this can be pretty beneficial. This is, of course, the little uh, office in um, connected to the open area. So uh, we'll show you there in a second, but it's right here. And um, stock room, of course, is one of, another good place to push from. And um, you can get some good people here that like to sit right here. So. This will be leading right into open area, and we'll go ahead and show you that as well. So, we have the little office that people like to sit in, stock, which people like to sit in at the beginning of the round to try and fend off as much as they can, and then, of course, the bandit charges as well. So, that's basically most of the vertical play on this map, unless if they are attacking there, then you can go from down up, just like how we are doing here, but looking at the other way. Let's start with stock, though. That's just right here. Pretty simple. If you have a drone up there as well, 
I can't throw one through the crack, but if you have a drone up here, um, you could easily have your teammate ping it real quick and then buck buck all around unless if you actually know where it is. This is right behind the desk. The window will be somewhere around here. Uh, no, a little further. Okay, the window will be right here. That makes more sense. Um, right along this beam here, just look a little over and then here's the window. So if you're a defender trying to play this from under, then this could be a good move as well. So, uh, here's a desk, here's a window, here's the desk a lot of people like to sit under if you're looking towards stock. So a good place to enter would be open, come here, buck, buck along this floor, see if anyone's snooping around there. And as well, then rotate over here, try to kill anyone in the little electrical closet. And a lot of people like to sit behind the shelf, but obviously every round is different. Here will be the rotation hole. And then coming along here, if you can, you can try and get into archives here. And of course you gotta worry about roamers a lot whenever you're doing stuff like this, but this is where the two bandit charges will be. It'll be right above the window and just a little bit over and you can kill all the bandit charges just right here, just by shooting up. You don't even have to use the bucks, really. You can just, you can just spray and probably get a bunch of them. And this is if you don't have a Thatcher. I really wouldn't want to just go down here every single time because this is exposed to a lot of roamers, such as there, such as people in open area. Open area is easier to figure out. You have kitchen, you have bottom square, you have top square, you have blue, you have this. You have so many places that people can look at you from. And it's hard to do it alone. Uh, Buck is really good at roaming with Jackal. So that's a good thing to keep in mind. And that's all we have for bank. Uh, but the same thing goes for here looking down. So if you look here, right? If you go up to this site and look down and if the site isn't here, then you can do the same thing, just the opposite way, of course. But I'm not gonna show that. There's no reason to show this site because most of the time you'll never even defend this site especially in higher ranks when everyone either goes upstairs or downstairs so that's the main things for bank unfortunately the basement's not any ha, doesn't have any vertical play so you're gonna have to rely on top story if you want any vertical play on bank canal however is one of these maps that has a lot of vertical play potential but i don't see anyone ever trying to learn it uh, a lot of it has to do with this basement site here which has so much vertical potential with so many uh, anchor points indeed specifically of course and um, a lot of that includes right here in bathroom and lockers uh, a lot of people like to sit here you can get control of it so easily just by playing vertically the only place they'll have left to sit is over here and then um of course you have lockers so just by breaking this all open i'm just gonna break this whole thing open just to show you guys and then i'll get uh into another round whenever i'm trying to go upstairs to show those as well so this whole room is going to be looking down to lockers and then this whole room is going to be looking down to bathroom so that right there will get you so much control of the map if your whole team can push through i don't know down here and then get into here however they want to do it or just rush through here to get into bathroom and lockers now you have whole control of this and site is just right there you can have two people here and you'll have people everywhere all around here same thing goes for over here though the whole entire actual site is breakable so where do people sit people like to sit um of course over here in this little cubby so breaking open this that that'll get anyone there people like to sit around here all around here this site doesn't have easy uh anchor points but you can still get to the point where you know where people sit so a lot of people will like to sit wall bang in this or head glitch in this or sitting behind this and this and this will both watch those uh, those two angles so that's nice of course and of course in scuba even is reachable so there's just so much vertical play on this map just no one knows or cares enough to learn how to actually use vertical play to their advantage on this map. From an attacker, you're going to be entering through this front lawn window. I don't know what it's called really, but uh, you're going to enter through reception and right under you will be um, the bathroom. So this goes both ways, right? You could play pulse down here and kill anyone that is trying to enter here, right? That will work easily. Or... As a attacker, you can shoot right back down at them. A lot of people like to sit in this corner right here, so bucking right here, and then shooting right here. So this is lined up perfectly with the door, is the lockers. So shooting this 
with a buck and then going down there and shooting them up is always a good move and then right around here this is the stairs and then if you go over here this is lockers so you're gonna have to go all the way over to this lounge area to even get over here so this is a harder one to get to since there are roamers everywhere but this one literally over here you just have to walk into the front door there's no there's no real risk to that except if you didn't drone out properly and someone is sitting over here in the sky bridge so for the most part you're safe as long as you as long as you get right in here this goes this is so easy you just buck right here there's always someone sitting around here and if there's not someone sitting around here there's someone sitting around in this whole area so you can easily just buck this and hold this angle for a few you know 30 seconds and you should at some point run into someone right someone should run into your crosshair and then easy kill right there the other things i was pointing out in sight i mean this whole floor is breachable so you can kill literally anything and i can't just show you every spot but here's the little cubby this little rat cubby that people like to sit in sometimes a mirror is sitting here so that's easy just break the mirror right there and try to try to kill them and flush them out at least um that's always good so that's the only real spot that i can say that a lot of the times there'll be someone around here um another thing of course was over here people like to sit behind this um little rack i don't know what they call it but this little rack with the scuba equipment that is just right here so breaching by the hatch right here you should be able to kill anyone there or at least make them so they can't camp right there the main thing with playing vertically though is you're going to flush them out to places that they don't want to be so instead of camping there they're going to have to camp somewhere stupid and easy to kill them they might have to go rotate over here but if you break this well now they can't sit there so they're going to be running frantically around and then your other parts of your team should be able to kill them right while you're doing that they should be running out of the site doing whatever just panicking in general so i'm gonna go ahead and move upstairs there's less up there but you can easily get people in the box so let's go ahead in there i gotta go and get um more ammo real quick so i'll be back with another round so up here is the second most played site and once again all the floor is breachable so you have so much potential here but mostly with this square area you know bandits will be uh, bandit tricking here i don't know what else will sit here but a lot of people just like sitting in this hole some people literally sit on this hatch so boom you shoot that and they fall through that's easy so let's go ahead and shoot open this this is the square wall you can also shoot here if they for some reason banner this but you don't even need to get this wall so mostly right here that's important other than that people camp here right a lot of people camp behind this a lot of people so it's good to know where that is and of course this hatch where people like to sit literally like to sit on this hatch where this hatch is and head glitch this which is also a good head glitch but um the only way to play it properly is over here where you can't get floor banged of course but this is all in one room right it's just one little line of sight and you can you can buck this all easily in one round so um that's this whole site people sitting on this window there it is and um of course this site as well is all reachable so it's just an amazing site to play vertically on just no one does it people like to play behind behind server stacks let's break that people like to play behind this desk break that and other than that you broke the whole floor really you broke every camping spot so people are gonna have to sit in different spots you can't sit there so you're gonna have to sit in this corner can't sit there so you're gonna have to sit somewhere just not as good or you're gonna have to run out to the hallway and try to push you down green stairs another thing though is you can just break open randomly randomly from underneath and you're gonna you're gonna eventually find someone but the main thing with this is they're gonna be focusing down here a lot to the point where once you get this wall your team has easy access to sight and um you could easily kill people trying to wall bang or head glitch any of this so let's hop downstairs see what we were looking at there so the way to enter through this site is probably from this door right here or just somewhere um around museum so here we are this is the spawn right somewhere over there and there's a spawn over there these are the two spawns you probably want to spawn at there's also a spawn over there that's pretty good as well but here are the two spawns that are the main um and the easiest to spawn at of course just spawn peaks in this map are awful spawn runouts are awful because there's just so many windows on the front side of the map so here's where you enter from right museum you got to drone it out of course get going go through go through museum 
check green. Um, most of the time people aren't sitting over here, but green stairs is usually someone up there. So if you do bring a claymore, a good place to put it would be like here or, you know, just somewhere or over here on the main stairs because people are going to kind of rush you whenever you are playing vertically because they will just get mad and try to save the round. Because once you do this, you kind of own the round if you're able to uh, really access this. So this is the room where square is. You are right under square in security room. So right on the door, right, look up and buck these and you're going to get the bandits or kill the actual guy. And, um... I don't always recommend breaking open the hatch because then they can jump down and surprise you while you're bucking and uh, I just don't recommend that unless if someone's literally on the hatch and you know they're on the hatch because you droned it. Another thing here, this was the desk so this is in the same exact room you just have to run over here right by this wall and look up and this is the desk that everyone likes to sit on. Um, we'll try to move backwards so uh, this just break open this, break open that, you've used like 10 skeleton keys at this point. And then this as well, this will be another camping point. This one's not as important. Instead, I would walk on over here and shoot behind this desk. Because once they get shot out from over there on that side, they're going to try to move over this side. So breaking open this will be easy. And then you move two people that run back to this blue side. So all the way up until this hatch can be destroyed. Anything over there is safe, but you get a line of sight just by this hatch. So all of this, if destroyed correctly, you can make anyone stop camping right here. People are going to be pushed to Skybridge. People are going to be pushed out of sight. And that's what you want as an attacker. Once you've used all the skeleton keys on these really important parts on this side of the map, then you can just move into this site and just start randomly spraying up. But a uh, few things to know is where the server stacks are. So this is one of the server stacks. So this right above this table really is a good place to spray. And you will see right into the server stacks. And other than that, just start spraying through, and they're going to be running down the stairs to green stairs, hopefully right into your shot. So that's Canal. Uh, that one kind of took a little while because this whole uh, map is really breakable. So let's go into the next one. So we got Chalet this time, but um, I finally uh, was a little bit smarter now, and I'm bringing Buck, or Sledge, rather, because he does have the hammer, and he also has a shotgun, so I can do... I can break more and not have to switch rounds. So this is the main site that um, we're going to be looking at because there's so much vertical play here, but uh, it's going to be kitchen and trophy room. So the first thing with this is you're going to have to always go downstairs or upstairs, master or downstairs, of course. If you are sledge, then you're going to have to go up, but uh, Buck can shoot up, of course, and still have his main weapon. I wouldn't really use the shotgun very much, but once you're in here, there's a lot to do, a lot to see. And um, this is all breakable. This is the trophy room. So just knowing where stuff is is probably the most important thing here. So first things first, this is going to be into trophy window. A lot of people like to sit around here by the window, around this area. And then you got to just find where the door is. The door is, of course, going to be more this way. So the door leads to the window, or this door. And then this is going to be west main. I'm already out of shotgun ammo. That did not work as I planned. So we're going to go above real quick. So here, I'll show you this just to give you a good idea. That is the hatch. This is the entire hallway. So you can quite literally cut off the entire rotation just by sitting underneath. Same thing goes for above. But uh, let's just go ahead and break this just so we know what's happening. Right in front of the door. People like to put shields right here to block the shooting right there. So you could easily nade it from underneath. Um, another place people like to sit around or be around is the rotation hole, which will be right here most of the time, or right here. Usually over here, so you can't really see it, but you can still break it below it just to distract them a little bit. So this is all you can do from underneath. So let's go downstairs and look at what destruction we did, and we'll see right here. So as you can see, we are downstairs where, where we would start, of course. I would use Buck if I'm going to do this, but uh, we're going to use Sledge for right now. This right here is the first thing I usually break is just this window because people like to sit on it. And they it just kind of announces that you are downstairs and you should start running. And I, I kind of like that element of surprise. With a Sledge though, the good news is you could cook right here. Just get it perfectly cooked. I have realism on, so I don't know how much it's cooking, unfortunately. But you'd cook it perfectly until it's about to explode. Put it right here and probably either kill someone, get a shield, or at least get some gadgets done. So that's good. This is the door, of course. So right above the car is the door into trophy room. 
and that's going to be one of the main cutoffs. After that, you buck right here down this hallway. It literally follows the same hallway. A lot of maps are like this. They just follow the hallways always down, all the way down, right? So this, for example, can literally cut off the whole map. So if you sit here with your L8 or C8, whatever gun you're using, whichever operator you picked, this is the trophy room. This is the kitchen room. And then this is the other room from dining room. So breaking open all of this and watching from a more passive angle, you can call out rotations. You can watch rotations. You can get some shots on people. The only thing with this is you can't sit in the middle or people are going to flank you from around here. So that's a good thing to keep a note of. But I want to go upstairs for the same site because it's just as good, just at a different way. And you can help the people get the hatches as well. It really works really well if you have a buck and a sledge. Buck go down there, sledge go upstairs, and you just double team it, right? So this you can see different stuff with sledge whenever you're above because buck can't go as far so you can see where you make up the difference and you can quite literally open up the entire site which can be very beneficial i would never recommend doing long things like that because it's just as easy for them to see you as um for you to see them so i would just go around here right buck, buck some places just buck some places that you think people are going to be at this is going to be kitchen so people might be sitting up there early round at least people like to sit up on this kitchen ledge people like to sit over here people like sitting over here and then of course people like sitting or under the dining room table or right above the dining room table so they like to sit right around here so by breaking this open now they're flushed out of here right they're flushed completely out of here they can't sit in any of these corners and meanwhile your buck is downstairs breaking open everything below and they are watching trophy room which you can't really get the best line of sight to uh you don't even have any access to it really you can't really find yeah i can't find any place up here where i can where i can look directly into trophy so you guys can both play in cohesion if you have a teammate a friend that you do this with then have them go upstairs with your habana thatcher thermite whatever whoever else goes upstairs and you go downstairs with buck and there you go you double team the heck out of the site you have everything open and it should be a pretty easy round win for you um especially if you double it up but you can still do this as a solo queue and just as well as a solo queue but here's the spots mainly that you need to look for this is nice because this cuts off the whole hallway and then of course this which has the dining room table that everyone likes to sit behind as a roamer or as a anchor well, let's hop into the other site here so now just pretend like we are attacking snowmobile and then the wine room as well this site is great for vertical play because all this is breakable but it's just in a less than ideal spot so i'm gonna break you know where I can break this is not breakable but this is the hatch this is the dining room table so we know that from last time but if we keep going along keep going along right we eventually get to the point where we can break but the problem with that let's go upstairs real quick is that where it is is not in the best place so when you can break is when you are in literally the center of the great room or fireplace so you can go up here and do what I'm doing, right? You can kill anyone that is chilling in the little closet, doing anything, being a little rat sitting in this closet, which is cool. But you have to roam through the whole map first or just have a really coordinated team. This this site is, takes actual teams, I feel like, to be able to do this. But if you do get a team that is actually trying to you know, help get vertical with you, uh, then this is the place to go. You gotta be able to clear the whole map and then go to <laughs> go to fireplace and then work from there. But most of the time, you're not gonna be able to do that. Only thing I will recommend you doing, if you are playing, trying to play vertically, is you can get outside here. You know, just with a buck or something, you can come in here real quick and just buck buck and just flush them out of here and try to get some shots on them and then head on out because people will be lurking everywhere right there's so many places to shoot at and this is just not the best for solo queue i would show master but i need you guys to use your own brains here and just just think if you are defending master or attacking master it's literally the same way just opposite looking down so um breaking from here or from here over will get you into master if you are attacking it but 
I just, for every single map, you just have to use your own brain here and just, if I'm using it one way, it works the same going the other way. So if it's vertical this way, it could be vertical this way. So that's the first six. This took forever, but hopefully it helped. I will have the next six out next week.